Uh, the internet data is like not the data you want for your transformer. Mm -hmm. It's like a nearest neighbor that actually gets you really far, surprisingly. <laughs> but the internet data is a bunch of internet web pages, right? It's just like what you want is the inner thought monologue of your brain. Yeah. That's the idea. The trajectories in your brain. The trajectories in your brain as you're doing problem solving. If we had a billion of that, like AGI is here, roughly yeah. speaking. I mean, to a very large extent. Uh, and we just don't have that. So where a lot of activity is now, I think, is we have the internet data that actually gets you like really close because it just so happens that internet has enough of reasoning traces in it and a bunch of knowledge and the transformer just makes it work okay. <laughs> so I think a lot of activity now is around um, refactoring the data set into these inner monologue uh, formats. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a ton of synthetic data generation that's helpful for that. So what's interesting about that also is like the extent to which the current models are helping us create the next generation of models. Transformer is like much more amazing. It's not just like an, it's not just another neural net. It's like an amazing neural net, extremely general. Uh, so for example, when people talk about the scaling loss in neural networks, the scaling loss are actually a, um, a to a large extent of a, a property of the transformer. Before the transformer, people were playing with LSTMs and stacking them, et cetera. You don't actually get like clean scaling loss and this thing doesn't actually train and doesn't actually work. It's the transformer that was the first thing that actually just kind of like scales. Um, and you get scaling loss and everything makes sense. And you can just give it inputs and outputs and billions of it, and you can train with backpropagation. It actually kind of like arranges itself into a thing that does the task. And so I think it's actually kind of like a magical thing that we've stumbled on in the algorithm space. And I think there's a few individual innovations that went into it. So you have the residual connections, that was a piece that existed. You have the layer normalizations uh, that needs to slot in. You have the attention block. You have the lack of these like, um, uh, saturating nonlinearities like 10 H's and so on, those are not present in the transformer because they kill gradient signals. So there's a few like, there's four or five innovations that all existed and were put together into this transformer. And that's what Google did with their paper. And this thing actually trains. Uh, and suddenly you get scaling laws and suddenly you have like this piece of tissue that just trains.